Hindustan Aeronautics has been given the approval to develop India's first lead-in fighter trainer variant that is based on the Tejas Mark I trainer, and the first aircraft will be ready by 2023. It will feature advanced cockpit with wide area touchscreen displays, and the Indian Air Force can procure 36 lift trainers, which can also be used to mimic any other platform like Rafale or Su-30 fighter jet so that the pilot can experience the aircraft before actually flying them, and it can also be used for combat missions. The concerns about empty production line of Nashik Division of Hindustan Aeronautics originated after the cancellation of FGFA fifth-generation fighter jet and previous 126 MMRCA program. The Indian Air Force will soon place an additional order for 12 more Su-30 fighters, that will come as a limited relief for the Nashik Division. It will continue the periodic overhaul of 20 Su-30 fighter jets and manufacturing of spares for existing Su-30 fighters. The Nashik Division will also gain from the Super Shukhoi program of the Indian Air Force, and this capability upgrade will be done when each Su-30 fighter jet comes in for its overhaul program. If the 114 fighter jets under the current MMRCA project are assembled at Nashik Division, the production line would be fully engaged for at least seven years. The first two next-generation technology demonstrators of the AMCA fighter jet is slated to be assembled at the Nashik Division, and the same facility will be used for the production of remaining 40 Mark I fighters. While discussing the Indian Army's recent request for information for 350 light tanks, top experts have said that there is a strong case for the Army to invest into a Make in India multi-purpose combat platform rather than a standalone lightweight tank, and the current crunch in resources also favors this approach, and the American Striker Combat Vehicle is a classic example of such a platform, which provides a family of 10 different vehicles on a common chassis. India should go for an indigenous multi-purpose combat platform which can have three basic variants, a light tank variant, an infantry fighting vehicle and an armoured personnel carrier, and additional configurations can be developed for multiple combat and support operations. The latest report by US Congressional Research Service on the development of hypersonic missile have mentioned that India will have a deployable Mach 7 capable BrahMos 2 hypersonic cruise missile by 2025. The report also highlighted that the DRDO developed hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle will form the base for the development of a Mach 6 capable hypersonic missile by 2025 that will have a range of 1500 kilometers. The report also said that India has 12 hypersonic wind tunnels and is capable of testing speeds of up to Mach 13. The DRDO's Young Scientist Laboratories has released a tender for procuring smart glasses with inbuilt augmented reality system along with interface system to UAV ground systems from private sector companies and software customization to the augmented reality glasses to optimize the usage as per the requirements and these augmented reality glasses will be used to control around 1,000 swarm drones that are currently being developed for the Indian Army. The DRDO had recently floated an expression of interest inviting private sector companies for the production of 25 Ashmi gun that is jointly developed by DRDO and an Indian Army officer, and as per latest reports, Kalyani Strategic Systems and SSS Defense are seen as the top two contenders, while several other companies including Zen Technologies and Lokesh Machines Limited have also submitted a bid. On the lease of one A330 refueler from France, an Indian Air Force official has said that the A330 has a ferry range of 14,800 kilometers, and it can operate with full load in the thin atmosphere of Ladakh region, and can also supply fuel at high-altitude Himalayan region. With top-of-the-line Rafale fighter jets in its inventory, the Indian Air Force has decided to lease the Rafale-compatible mid-air refuelers so that it is ready to counter any move from the northern sector. 
India and Russia have announced the establishment of a new 2 plus 2 dialogue at the foreign and defense ministerial level, and Russia is the first non-Quad country with which India will now have this mechanism. Experts have said that India has sent a signal to the United States that India retains its strategic autonomy. Meanwhile Russia has sent a signal to China that close Russia-China strategic relations will not limit Russia's choices with India and Russia will continue supplying advanced defense systems to India. The latest JF-17 Block 3 fighter jet with the serial number 3001 has been spotted equipped with two PL-10 air-to-air combat missiles, and this fourth-generation missile is also used by China's J-20 stealth fighter jet. Chinese experts have said that the PL-10 features infrared homing and has a range of 20 kilometers, and it will give the Pakistani JF-17 Block 3 a tremendous dogfight capability, and even the enemy stealth fighters cannot escape from the PL-10.